more than a quart now. Whenever I left for a few days back in, when did I leave for a few days? Oh, when we went on our girls trip, dad tried to milk them and we were down to half a jar. And now they're back up to more than a quart. Goats are milked and there's a chicken in the Instant Pot for lunch. I want to give you a little update on the pantry. We finally had the cabinets that I was talking about several, several months ago installed in here. We're getting the shelves installed and we just did new tile, which I haven't yet showed on here. So the boys and I, I'm going to take the youngest three boys into town to get some paint. I have sort of an idea of what I want. I've been wanting a green pantry. I've been wanting to incorporate green in this house and I have a certain green kind of in mind that I'd also like to eventually put in the living room, but the pantry seems like a really safe little space to start this with. Now I'm a little bit nervous because it's pretty dark in here. Obviously it doesn't get any natural light at all, but I think I have a vision for it. We'll see how it goes. I also ordered a few things. For example, I have this yellow broom and red dustpan is what we've been using forever. I ordered a pretty broom, so like a straw broom and a white dustpan and a peg rail to hang here. So I'm going to just try to make this pantry really functional, but really pretty because this too, it just falls over all the time. And so I have a lot of plans for lots of hanging storage. I need baskets, I need crocs. I have a whole bunch of things on my need list. And then there's a few things that I've ordered. This should all be coming together in the next month or so so i can finally share it but we're gonna head to town and get some paint to hopefully start painting it now currently the hinges are hidden inside and i didn't really think to tell um, the person who helped us make these that i wanted exposed like i have on the office so i did order some exposed hinges some latches we're gonna make the feet like we made for the kitchen cabinets so hopefully this will end up looking a lot more character it'll have a lot more character these ugly doors are coming off this is getting painted we're adding beadboard here so lots to do lots to organize but we're making progress Okay, I ended up getting the color by Benjamin Moore called Carolina Gull. I was really set on a pharaoh and ball color because I've just, I've seen it everywhere, I love it. But they didn't have that in their system at the store that I went to. So this was the closest color to that. I think I'm gonna really like it. My only concern is it might be too dark for this space, but we'll see. Either way, I'm gonna put a lot of things in the pantry so you're not going to just see this color. You're gonna see a lot of baskets, pots and pans, aprons and brooms and all of that. So it's not going to only be this and the floor is pretty light. So we'll see, I can always change it. We still have to install some beadboard on the right side. The left side already has the original beadboard. So I'm going to hopefully start painting today. Now, Luke just took the older kids outside, Micah. Daniel just went down for his nap. I want to get some jalapenos fermented this afternoon and make up a batch of my cast iron seasoning oil. So it might not happen. I might not actually get started on this, but at least I have the paint color 
and I have a lot of the design set. So whenever the contractor comes in to install the shelves, which he's still gonna do, we just couldn't find enough of the brackets that I wanted, we'll be ready to start painting and just the design will be there because I've already started really collecting a lot of things. So maybe I'll get to that. I wanna show you one more thing. One of my friends local to me, actually I met her through YouTube. So whenever I moved to my new area, she recognized the house and she introduced herself. Well, she has found antique finds for me more than once. She found the $20 Goodwill bed up in our daughter's room. But anyways, a few days ago she reached out to me and she sent me a picture and asked if I would want this. This huge set was only $6.99. Yes, $7, $6.99. And I've actually been looking for these particular cups because we had this exact set, now there's a whole bunch of them, sitting above the espresso machine, but I've broken two in the last couple months, just whenever I'm filling water on the espresso machine or getting a cup down, I've broken them. And so to be able to find 10, no, 12 more of these, plus all the plates, crazy good deal. Like we can afford to break these if it happens. It's okay at this price, it's crazy. So she asked if I'd want it and I said, of course. And so I met up with her today to pick it up and I'm really excited to have some of these backups. I'll put them in the hutch to fill it out a little bit in the dining room. And then these are the perfect size for our espresso machine because it's a smaller quantity. Like when we drink a shot of espresso, you don't need a large coffee cup. So they're perfect. This part. I think now we just need something to. You know, when you probably need our level, just make sure that's level on the top. Oh, the level thing? Uh huh.
It is definitely less green looking than I was thinking. Is this? <laughs> You're already completely done, aren't you?